In this video I'm gonna do the products index page. So that's gonna be this route right here. So this is gonna say get products index. And in here I'm gonna get rid of all this. So I'm gonna have a var called count because I wanna see if there are any products. And to get the count, I'm going to say product and count and have a callback in here. So air and C. And in here, I'm going to say count is equal to C. Just format this. And I also need the category model in here, actually. So I'm just going to copy this and change this to category and this as well and this as well like so and now i want to find all the products so i'm gonna say product and find and have a callback in here so air and products and i'm gonna say here render and just a semicolon there as well and the view i'm gonna render is admin slash products and I'm gonna pass products and the count as well so to create that view I'm gonna copy and paste this pages EJS and call it products so this is gonna say products and href admin slash product slash add product and add a new product here and I don't need this sorting class for the table and here I'm gonna have that product title basically and edit and delete is fine but I'm gonna have a few more so I'm gonna have price, category, and product image. So price and category and product image. So this is gonna say products and for each function product in here. And I don't need these IDs and classes for the TRs. So this is going to be product title and after that I'm going to have the price and the category and the image. So product price and I need to format this a bit. So I'm going to say here parse float and have the product price in braces and say to fixed to so to two decimal places and the dollar sign here as well and product category is going to be product category like so and actually this product image that's supposed to be here is going to be a bit more involved because the admin will not have to upload the product image in that case there should be some default image so I'm gonna just have this like so and then I'm gonna have an if here so if product image is equal to an empty string it means there's no image so in that case I'm gonna have an image here and display the default one and the source is gonna be slash images so this is this images uh, folder is gonna be in the public folder I need to create it and I don't need to specify public and no image PNG which you can find in the source files this image but I'm gonna add that in the next video but anyway that's gonna be there in case there's no image and if there is an image this is gonna be an else and I'm just gonna copy this for the closing curly brace and so in here I'm not gonna have this salt and I'm just gonna copy this so the source is gonna be 
product images which is also a folder I have to create and then it's gonna be slash here and product ID and slash product image so the logic behind this is I'm gonna create this product underscore images folder in the public folder and whenever I create the product I'm gonna also create a folder inside of this product images folder and the name of the folder is gonna be the ID of the product so that's how it's gonna be linked and finally these edit and delete links so this is gonna be products and edit product and product ID and I don't need this if here or this one and this is also gonna be products and delete product and product ID and I don't need the script tags here okay so hopefully that should do it we'll see when we actually start adding products but I also want to check if there are any products and if they're not display a message so I'm gonna have an if here and I'm gonna say here if count is greater than zero and this is gonna be an else so if count is greater than zero so that's this count here in that case I'm gonna display this table but if it's not I'm gonna have this else here and have an h3 let's say with a class of text center and I'm gonna say in here there are no products okay so hopefully that's gonna work let's see if I go to slash products here I have a bit of a problem and that's that I didn't start the servers so let's see okay so there are no products and this links to add a new product so it all seems good I'm just gonna add this products link in here so admin header is what they need here it is so this is gonna be products and this is gonna say products as well refresh this so pages categories and products okay so far so good that's it for this video see you in the next one